Hello, I'm Mark Schlero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I have the pleasure of sitting behind the wheel of one of the best 1970 Oldsmobile 442s known to exist. by well-known Thornton Muscle Cars out of Pennsylvania. Uh, they are the leader in the 442 world regarding their quality restorations. I've been following them for many, many years. Uh, they're a family-owned business. Uh, they only restore a couple of cars per year, and they do unbelievable work. A lot of people uh, go to them with questions regarding 442s, uh, restoration details, etc. Um, I've always, always uh, wanted to purchase a car from them, but most of the time their cars get so out of uh, my price range um, that I end up passing on the opportunities. Uh, this particular car came along. I was able to buy it. I am super, super proud of it. Uh, to give you a little story uh, about this particular car, it was purchased by uh, Thornton's um, locally in Pennsylvania where I believe this car spent most of its life. Uh, what I've done with this binder here that we've made that is included um, is we've kind of broken down the VIN number here and it will show you that this car was born a 1970 Oldsmobile 442. We will also uh, confirm that it was born obviously as a hardtop coupe. And what's really cool about this car is it was built in Framingham, Massachusetts. We're in Seekonk, Massachusetts. When I spoke to Troy Thornton, um, he actually told me this is one of the uh, rare cars that was actually built uh, in Framingham. He's only had a few uh, ever come into his shop uh, that are from this factory, so I thought that was really cool. He thought it was pretty cool that it ended up going to Massachusetts, and here we are. Um, the car does have a partial build sheet, uh, which shows the dealership, Luke Motors uh, in Chester, Pennsylvania. Um, it also shows some of the original options that this car had, color combination, things like that. All included with the vehicle is also an original license plate frame by Luke Motors and an original keychain. I think that's really cool. Um, so once again, he found this car in Pennsylvania. It's believed to have spent its life in Pennsylvania. Um, it was a super, super nice, rust-free survivor that only had 57,000 original miles. His plan was to do uh, only a few things to the car, and then of course, one thing led to another, and we ended up with one of the best uh, 442s in the country. This car is absolutely stunning in every regard. I am super, super proud of it. Um, so the car was actually born, uh, the red that you see here, this is a factory uh, red, and it actually had originally a white painted top. Uh, it was not a vinyl top, it was a painted top, and then they used to use the vinyl trim uh, to make it kind of appear like it was a vinyl top. Kind of a rare option, um, but it was decided when they did the restoration to not redo that because it just wouldn't look as cool as having it all red like it is now. 
they added the uh, hood that you see um, and they painted the white stripes on there gave it definitely a more aggressive appearance and they also obviously painted the side white stripes as well that start from the front end and the back uh, they even uh, are wrapped around the rear deck lid it looks absolutely gorgeous um, this is probably the most desirable and impressive color that you'll find on a 442 um, most of the sheet metal on this car is original to the car they only replaced the uh, front fenders and one of the doors they used original GM sheet metal so it's fair to say that this car has uh, all original GM sheet metal um, I cannot describe in words the quality of the bodywork the bodywork is the best that you will ever find uh, when we're looking at a car amongst uh, the team in MS Classic Cars sometimes we'll refer to cars and say the car is Thornton's quality and what that means is it just means that we're comparing it to a Thornton's restoration which is just absolutely outstanding once again uh, there's a lot of respect I have for them for the quality of work that they do and the time that goes into it so the body of this car I would guess to venture is probably much better than it was from the factory the hill opens beautifully the doors open and close absolutely beautifully the deck lid does as well the quality of the paint um, it's got to be one of the best paint jobs that we've ever had at MS Classic Cars. I would put this paint job against cars that we ask $150,000, $200,000 for. The paint job is absolutely spectacular. The restoration was finished in 2020, just a few weeks ago, actually, before I purchased it. Um, it only has about uh, 20, 30, 40 miles of shakedown time. Uh, so because the restoration is so fresh, the paint is obviously as fresh as you'll ever find it. Um, it's virtually flawless in every regard. Uh, once again, I cannot say in words how magnificent the paint quality is. Uh, it sits on the correct wheels and tires. Um, it does have a brand new uh, windshield. Um, the side glass is original. It was refurbished, and the same thing goes for the rear window. Uh, it's all in absolutely beautiful condition. All the stainless trim is absolutely beautiful. This, the, these mirrors look awesome, very sporty. The headlights, the grill, the bumpers, all the trim, everything on this car is at the highest level of show quality. Uh, definitely a car that, uh, once again, I am super proud of. Now, getting into the interior. This particular car was born uh, with all black interior. Um, it did have a bench seat. Once again, uh, it only made sense during the restoration to give the car even more character and to complement the exterior. They went with this uh, pearl white uh, with black interior, and of course they added the bucket seats. So when you're sitting in here, it's, it definitely has that perfect combination of uh, light and dark. Um, the headliner here is all white. The sun visors are white. They're brand new, brand new rear view mirror. The whole dashboard is like the day it rolled off the showroom floor. It's got this nice uh, simulated wood trim here on the dash also on the center console. Um, during the restoration, they added a sports steering wheel. They added a dual gate uh, console here as well. Um, of course, I mentioned they added the bucket seats. Um, the door panels are white, the seats are white, but all of the carpeting is black, the console is black. So again, it's got that perfect combination of white and black. Uh, it's got seat belts throughout. Um, the car does have air conditioning. The car originally had air conditioning from the factory. It's documented on the build sheet. Um, the air conditioning system was modernized uh, to the 134. Uh, we just pulled the car outside before we did the video. It's probably all of 90 degrees outside right now. I turned on the AC. It blows ice cold. Uh, this car runs absolutely spectacular. Um, it even has the correct rubber floor mats. Um, getting into the trunk compartment, uh, the trunk compartment was really detailed uh, to perfection. Uh, the correct trunk uh, paint was applied. It's got a trunk mat. It's got the matching uh, full-size spare. It's got all the jack tools back there. Uh, it even has a trunk light that operates. Everything in this car, including the clock, the radio, uh, dome lights, courtesy lights, everything is in excellent working order. Um, getting into the engine compartment, the engine compartment is obviously highly detailed uh, throughout. You can see within our gallery of photos that every single nut and bolt was done. 
Everything is very, very correct, right down to an AC Telco battery. Um, they, I mean, they went fully out on this engine compartment here as they do with all their cars. The car is powered by the original matching numbers, 455 V8. It was built to standard uh, specifications with the exception of a comp cam. So the engine runs absolutely beautiful. Uh, it breathes through the factory style manifolds into a brand new um, correct dual exhaust system that sounds really good. Uh, the reason for the cam was just to give it that little bit of pop, uh, give it that little lope. It sounds absolutely beautiful. You'll hear it in a minute run. Uh, the engine is coupled to the original turbo 400 automatic transmission. Uh, the transmission shifts absolutely beautifully. Um, the rear end in this car uh, was originally a 323 open rear end. It is the original rear end, but during the restoration they added posi. So now it has posi traction uh, so the power can get transferred to the pavement with both tires uh, and not have to worry about slippage and things like that. So again, original motor, original transmission, original rear end. It really doesn't get much better than that. And the undercarriage of this vehicle is absolutely lighted mirror quality. What I mean by that is the attention to detail is second to none. Uh, it was done exactly the way the manufacturer would have done it. Uh, to the extent of you'll see in the photos uh, that we provide within our gallery um, that the side uh, was actually done of the body in the red color would be kind of the overspray from the red. It kind of fades into the gray primer color. They even used the black textured paint around the transmission tunnel area just like it was done at the factory. Um, so I can't emphasize enough how beautiful the undercarriage of this vehicle is. They even used all the factory paint marks and stickers that would have been done down the assembly line. Uh, so once again, you got to check out the undercarriage. It's reflective of this entire restoration. The car does have power steering. It does have power brakes. Um, all the suspension system is new. The braking system's new. The fuel tank is beautiful. All the lines, the brake lines. I mean, everything under this car has been completely done to the highest level of quality. Uh, one of my part-time employees, Carl Almeida, uh, was with me when I was buying this car. He actually uh, put it inside of our enclosed trailer. And he said, Mark, it's like getting in a brand new car uh, from the dealership when it was you know, new and, and driving it off the showroom floor. I mean, it's like that nice. I, I can't be any more prouder of this vehicle. So for a complete description with tons of photos, please visit msclassiccars.com. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and let you listen how beautiful it runs. It starts right up, absolutely purrs like a kitten. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off really quick just to show you how well this vehicle is dialed in. Turn it off, and keep in mind this is a big block. This is a 455 V8. Uh, it even has the original carburetor. It's been completely rebuilt. I can turn it on. Again, it starts right up. Dialed in just like a small block, but big block power. Thank you for watching.